Today, Royal Encortre, an ancient city in Belgium, founded sometime in the 3rd century AD by the Romans. Originally given the name Cortrerium, meaning between two rivers. However, today we are not here for the city itself, but rather an important battle that took place here 700 years ago, the Battle of the Golden Spurs. Before we talk about the battle itself, we should understand what led up to the battle. In the year 843 AD, the county of Flanders became part of the Kingdom of France after the Treaty of Verdun. Originally, they enjoyed a lot of self-governance. However, this all changed. In the year 1285 AD, King Philip IV rose to power in France. He sought to make French gains at Flemish expenses. He took the richest cities in Flanders into royal dominion, or royal protection as he called it. Greater Van der Pierre, the Count of Flanders, was enraged by it. However, as a small county, they could not hope to retaliate. Until England went to war with France in the year 1295 AD. Sensing an opportunity to regain control over his county, Greater Van der Pierre, the Count of Flanders, aligned himself with the English king. However, due to papal intervention in 1297 AD, the English would make amends with the French and a peace treaty would be signed. Now the Count of Flanders was to face France alone. They could not win and were quickly conquered. The Flemish populace was originally welcoming of their conquerors, but this would also not last. When Jacques de Chatillon was appointed, the Flemish populace was not happy. If you want a master class in poor governance, he's got it for you. He enacted every policy that the Flemish people did not want to see. And this led to the revolution. The revolution really started on the 19th of May in Bruges, with an event called the Bruges Maten, roughly translating to the Bruges Massacre. In Bruges, the Flemish populace killed every Frenchman located in the city, be it a garrisonier, soldier, or what have you. Somehow Jacques de Chatelon managed to escape, but just barely. A few days later, the grandson of Wede van Lampere, Count of Lanerts, arrived in the city and he assumed control over the revolution. He began a reconquest of Flanders and quickly they would find themselves at the gates of Cortre. On the 9th of July, the siege of Cortre would begin. However, on the 10th of July, the French army would approach and they realized that the battle was unavoidable. However, the Flemish army was heavily outclassed. While the Flemish army had about 10,000 levy uh, soldiers and 400 professional knights, the French army numbered 3,000 knights, 5,000 professional infantrymen and 1,000 crossbows. Despite being outclassed, the Flemish commanders showed brilliance. They prepared traps at the river where the battle would be fought. These traps were simple in design. They drained portions of the river and covered it with dirt and branches to hide it. The battle went well for the French initially. However, the French commander felt he had made a mistake. While his French infantry was pushing back the Flemish militia, the Flemish knights were positioned on either flank of the French infantry. The infantry had already crossed the river and so the cavalry got not get there in time. He called back his infantry and devised a new plan. He would push forward his French cavalry, the best knights in the world, and he would position them on the flanks. Then he would push back his infantry and he will now be able to protect the flanks of his infantry with his knights. He initiated the plan. The cavalry went forward, but due to the traps laid in the brooks, all momentum of the charge was lost. By the time that the French cavalry reached the Flemish lines, they had regained their positions and order. They were walking horses into a line of pikes. The Flemish would massacre the French knights. They would try to escape but took heavy casualties, including one of the two French commanders, Count John of Adamantin. The loss of their count caused an all-out rout. 
seeing the French Knights route, the infantry would soon follow suit, and the entire French army was in route. So where does the name Golden Spurs come from? It came from, quite literally, the Golden Spurs that the French Knights wore. It was said that the battlefield was related with them after the French Knights had routed. The Flemish would pick up these spurs and use them to finance their own army. However, many of these spurs can still be found today in a church here in Cortre. I would have gone there, but sadly it is closed today and I cannot go on another day. It's expensive to travel. What is the significance of this battle? The Flemish still lost the war, so what's the point? Well, before the Battle of the Golden Spurs, it was believed that one knight had the same value as ten infantry soldiers. This idea was forever shattered on the Battle of the Golden Spurs. Furthermore, it is important for the cultural history for Flanders. The Flemish people have been oppressed throughout a lot of their history. This battle was a moment of resistance to that oppression. Because as their anthem sings, as long as one Fleming lives, we shall never be tamed.